Welcome to your market update charts of the day for Friday, the 15th of March. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in the Asian session today as we approach the midpoint. Of course, the news, of course, US equities struggled overnight to move higher. Again, uh, we had some warm PPI numbers suggested of prolonged inflation. That on top of the CPI data recently, which was also slightly bigger than expected, has upset markets a little bit at the back end of the week. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading today. Asian markets are lower following that US lead. But we are seeing some recovery from what was a fairly miserable open. The ASX was down around about 1.4%. It is down still, but almost half the losses down just under 0.8%. So significantly off those lows. European equity futures are pointing to a low open this afternoon, but just mild again. Nothing significant at this stage. US dollar index edged higher, bouncing off support overnight, which meant that gold and copper both paused after recent run-ups. Copper still remains over $4, and gold has only pulled back just around about 1.5% from that record high hit earlier in the week. Oil was strong, breach resistance, and is over $80 barrel on the WTI CFD contract. So now back to November levels. Uh, Bitcoin is trading around about 73,000. So again, as with gold and copper, pause in near highs. On the data front, it's not a spectacular day, but we have got inflation expectation numbers out of the UK and the US, which the market may be slightly more sensitized than it would otherwise be with this, with these numbers simply because of what's happened this week. We've also got US consumer center and manufacturing data due also. Could be a soft end to the week perhaps, or are we gonna see some more buying into the dips, which has occurred every time we have had such a thing over the last few weeks. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. I'll we'll start with EML, which we're powering up towards 125. You can see this is a key level here. Plenty of upside potential here. If we look on the weekly chart, you can see there, Possibly next stop is around about 150 if we do get a follow through in current price action. On the FX front, plenty of action in the yen today. Looked as though we we're going to breach this key level at 148.62 on the US yen 30 minute chart. We just pulled back over the last hour, but well worth keeping an eye on that. If we do breach 148.62, the move up to 149 looks like a high probability price action. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.